A coalition of civil society organizations, CSO, has issued a stern warning cautioning against what they describe as malicious attacks on anti-corruption institutions in Nigeria. Speaking on behalf of the CSOs, Anwar Rafsajani, Executive Director of the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, said there are detrimental consequences of allowing such attacks to persist. During a press briefing, Rafsajani identified several factors injuring the effectiveness of anti-corruption efforts. He said there is an urgent need for legal reforms to strengthen anti-corruption measures and ensure accountability and transparency in governance. You will wait, people will suffer to cast their vote, and then you get to the court, they will tell you, they will rig the election, they will tell you, let's meet in the court. By the time you go to court, it is a different story all over. This culture has to change. We cannot use public taxpayers' money to procure political appointment and election and continue to steal that same public you know, uh, points. We have to you know, change doing this. In anti Anti-corruption agencies are finding it difficult because these people are now the one to determine how you even survive, how you function as an agency. Because they are the one to make the law, they are the one to supervise, they are the one to provide, you know, resources for your work. So you can see that the anti-corruption is actually handicapped. Adequate resource allocation to the anti-corruption agencies has become imperative to uphold their independence and enhance efficiency in the anti-corruption process. It is essential to prioritize adequate funding and support for anti-corruption agencies to prevent corruption and promote accountability. Through this, the present administration will demonstrate its commitment to fighting corruption. More and more Nigerians are buying guns, are using those guns against their neighbors, against road users, against farmers, against everybody in the street is the path to anarchy and destruction. We must stop this level of corruption from continuing to grow.